hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's esther again with another sidekick saturday <laughs> and this week's prompt is birds and i was thinking when i started to prepare this why on earth did i choose uh, birds i don't know <laughs> because um i don't have many supplies with birds so um no dice i could not um that I could think of when I just started. So the only birds I could find from my own collection are the little birds you see over here. These are from Sidekick set 1839. So that's this one, 39, no, 93. No, 39, sorry. <laughs> uh, these have those little birds in here and a little bird cage. There's also a little owl, owl. <laughs> and then there are birds in um, the Splatter page set, 1864. So uh, there's a row with four birds on a, on a branch. So, but that one is a little bit too big, although the birds on their own could be useful here. But I chose choose um, to use those little birdies over here. And then I found something else. Birds from the Reminiscence books. I found two here and one here. So maybe I can combine them and work something out because I need to work. This is the, um, the one we did last week or I did last week, week six. Uh, and so week number seven or prompt number seven should be on the back of this one, which makes it a little bit harder because, you know, I can do this, you know, and then cut it in three, but that would be, um, well, maybe a little bit too easy. So I am thinking of doing something else and make um, three little, paintings or pieces of art uh, on the back of each of these cards. So uh, to prepare that, I did cut three postage stamps, which fit um, those base parts in here. And this one comes from the new set, uh, the sidekick fillers with the phone. And that one is in here, number 2104. Well, I'm going to put it back in because I did already cut them. And, and I will put that aside because I don't need it. So my plan is make three separate uh, images, but um, I also want them to go together. So let's see if this will work. Now I have to make sure I'm not going to mix them up because I want to put them back in this order. Oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, no, because I'm going to make separate uh, yeah, artworks, <laughs> tiny artworks. I can do that. I don't have to pay attention to the order. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, so taking them out. And then I have these three. Oh, this one is upside down. Uh, start with inking them first, of course. Let me grab some ink or a blending tool. Well, I'm not sure what color is on there, but afraid burlap again for me. <laughs> So that's a start. So uh, this way you will see the postage stamp borders, you know, the little torn holes. <laughs> uh, you see them better than if you don't use the ink. So that one goes here. So I still do see a lot of you who are joining the Sidekick Saturday Challenge. So that's really fun and many, many pretty um, pieces of art I do see. <laughs> um, forgive me if you hear some background noises, by the way. Our neighbors are drilling and hammering and I'm not sure what they are all doing, but it makes some noise, but I think you will be fine and don't hear it. But I don't know how long it will take them to finish, so I was thinking, okay, let's just get started with this. So. Three backgrounds. Now I have those little birdies and I have those. Now you see they are too big to put on one of them so I'm going to cut them and maybe only use the heads. So let me grab my... <coughs> okay I was looking yes my smaller scissors and see if I can use them. You don't need much you see it's only this part. So not that difficult to cut, I hope. 
So there's one here. Maybe that one a little bit further down his back. But this should be enough. Oh, that's too big already. And then this little one. Oh, it's a shame to cut up the whole piece of paper, but I'm only going to use this part, so I can use the back side from something else. So that's not a big problem. By the way, for those of you who don't know this, this is a really piece of art which is in one of the Dutch muse museums. <laughs> so, um, it's called a puttertje. It's a bird. <laughs> well, that's obvious. <laughs> Okay, let me cut this one to start with. So while I'm cutting, I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit on the cut cutting I have to do. Well, this should be okay. That's all I need for this one. Then this beauty, same thing. Trying to cut it as nice as possible. Not sure about this piece. Should it be there? I think I'm going to cut it off. I don't like it. I don't think it was part of the bird, but more uh, something from the background. Okay, so there's one more here. Not sure where I'm going to put them, but it's a start. Maybe I should put this one in the middle because the I've got two which are a little bit orange and this one is more brown So I think I will do this one in the middle and then probably this one something like that and then the last one And these all come from the reminiscence books I'm not sure about the numbers, <laughs> but uh, one of the previous ones, that's for sure. And by the time you are watching this, um, well, I think I can tell you that there's a new reminiscence book coming in April. So April 2024, <laughs> there will be a new reminiscence book number seven, and it's so cool. Do I have one over here? No, I don't. Yes, I do. Let me check. Okay, I'm going to show it to you very quickly. So please pay attention. Don't tell else. Don't tell else I showed you. Okay, so we've got birds over here, but you see the background is still dull and plain. There needs to be something else. So what I'm going to do is add another layer and now I'm thinking I can use the back of this piece uh, and put little mats on top of those postage pieces. Does that make sense? I hope. Let me see. And I'm not going to measure that. I'm just going to take a pen or a marker or something like that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I've got a pen here. And then just eyeballing and see what I need to cover it up. Because the important part for me on this one is the border, the edge with um, the postage. Uh, yeah, how do you call it? <laughs> the torn postage stamps. So I need it to be here and somewhere here. Let me see a paper trimmer. Here we go. So I think I can do a long one to start with, but it has to be straight. So let me see if this works. It's something, yeah, a little bit smaller. Let me check the, the millimeters. One, two, three, one, two, three, yes. It should be fine this way. And there was a little, huh, and that one is gone. So I have to mark it again, but this should be fine, yes. And then I have to cut it somewhere here. I don't think the strip is long enough for three of them. So I need to make another one. But let me see, here is number one. This is fine. 
so I can cut it off at the same size. Why not? Oh, maybe it is long enough. No, not completely, but I am going to use it anyway and glue something else there. I already have an idea. So, okay, three of those. I'm going to put the birds aside for a moment because they're in my way. And then I have these three. I'm also going to ink them. So it's going to give you a little bit more dimension um, uh, when using another layer. Do you see what I mean? So now you can really see three different layers of paper. And one of them is too small. But I will cover that up with something else. Or maybe the bird. Yeah, this one is too small. You see, there's a little gap on one side. It depends on where you are going to put it, but there will be something fun or something, <laughs> yeah, something decorative where you can cover that up if you want to. Okay, so three layers on each stack. Can I call it a stack? Yes, I think I can. So now my plan is to add those birdies and for the birds also they do need some ink because you do see uh, the white cutting lines from cutting with uh, your scissors. So and that's not such a pretty sight. So and you see this one is big enough over there. Maybe I should put them next to each other. Okay, let me see. And then this one here. Hmm. To be honest, no, I can't turn them around, you know, I can't do this. One one upside down might be nice too. <laughs> Let me give this one some ink too. A little bit of love to cover up his beautiful feathers. Okay. But you can also do this. Why not? Let me see. And this one goes here, or this one goes here. But you can play with it and use them any way you like. I do like it this way, I think. So one of them is watching to the right. This one is also watching to the right, but is, um, well, <laughs> he is more uh, right orientated on my card. <laughs> and this one is on the left side, also looking to the right, by the way. But who cares? Okay, I'm going to glue this one down to start with. So, I can't lose them anymore. And then, oh, I did it too early. Shoot, this one also needs ink. <coughs> and you can do this with any kind of um, subject <laughs> uh, or, or anything you like, you know, making those little tiny pieces of art on uh, a postage stamp. So it would have been better if I didn't glue it down yet, because now it's a little bit harder to trim it to the correct size. But I can do that for sure. Let me see, where is it? Oh, um, yeah, it's this one. So you see, it looks already much better when it's the correct size. And it's just a start, I'm not finished yet. So it's better, and now I remember what I did with pre previous postage stamps, to start working on this piece first, on the mat. And then later you glue them down on the actual postage, postage stamp uh, piece. But I also want to do some extra decorative elements. Uh, and I have a bunch of circles here, and also there should be circles cut from one of the reminiscence books. Those are, um, I'm not sure in which book they are, but so much fun to use as a decorative element somehow on your page. Oh, how cool is this? And you see, <laughs> it's hardly anything, but by mixing up two different or three different pieces of paper, it looks so much different already. So now it's a little bit easier to cut it off 
Um, should I put this a little bit higher? Yes. I'm going to cut off a little piece on the top of this one. And then I'm going to glue it down. So I definitely know I want to have it here. I do like big bulky numbers, so. And they're always decorative. Oh, it's a little bit off. A little bit straighter. Let me see. Okay. Now I can trim off a little bit extra on the back side. And now I want this cute bird to be there too. Uh, what you can do is, okay, hold it like this, turn it around, trim it off. Or you can attach it first, adhere it with your glue, and then... But as I'm looking at it now, was this the small one? Yes, you see this one is a little bit too small on the on one side, so... I do miss something over here, and it might be fun to add a little number, or maybe a little tap, 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 tap. I do have tabs too. <laughs> you see, many tabs. So there should be one somewhere which will fit this uh, little piece of paper. There's one of the half circle ones, but I already have a circle here. So I'm not looking for that, but I look for a regular tap thingy. And it should be the same color a little. Oh, nice. Oh no, that's a round one. That's not a good one. Uh, because this one comes in the middle, this one comes on the top. I already like what it's going to look like now. Maybe this one has a little bit red too. Do you see? Does it fit? Yes, it fits. I am going to take this one. Uh, to be honest, I can use only half one, but. Um, because that's large enough to cover it up. It's too big. Let me see if this works. This one. I'm going to turn it around because you see the one and then it's upside down. If I turn it around, you see uh, 97 and it's the right way up. Or should I put it there? Let me glue down the bird first. So that's a little bit easier for me to see what it does. Bird goes here. And I do like making these little pieces of art on stamps or faux stamps, if you call it. That's what you call them, right? Now, this one is actually, it's too large. I don't like it. I should be maybe doing one, but that you don't see the number. So my other option is to move it this way and try to do something on that side. Maybe it looks better there, I don't know. Here's the box again. Or maybe, oh, I do have maybe something like this. Just some extra numbers. Well, you don't see anything of them anymore, but I can cut off something at the top. And that will make the numbers more visible when you slide them here. Yes, that's so much better. So, ink. Ink to the rescue again. And some glue. And then gluing them here. <laughs> as close as possible to the border of the postage stamp. And then I will glue this one on top. So that will be my first um, <laughs> bird's card, little birdie's card. Let me see, it's a little straight. I have to cut something off here. At least that's what it looks like. So, and now this one can go on top, yes, <laughs> of this one. So, this is um, the postage stamp die from uh, the latest release, the from the past release. Oh, I need to add some ink here. There's an ugly white border there from cutting. <laughs> okay. And this part, this is one from the previous um, uh, die set with uh, this dashed border around. And that's what I'm going to glue it onto. And this is the one I used last week, so I, I just have to use it. And I now notice that last week's... Uh, card, this one, isn't glued properly on top of this one. 
You see, there's a little edge here, but I'm not going to cut it off because that will ruin um, the other side. So that one needs to go here. I only have to make sure I'm not going to glue it upside down. That would be a bummer. Okay, this one is fine. I also need to bring in um, my prompt number. So I'm going to look for that one too. We are doing prompt seven, is that correct? Yes, where is my journal? Six was last week. Birds, number seven, yes. Okay, let me see where's my little... Uh, I had this little box somewhere with all those cute numbers. Let me see guys, if I can find it, yes. We are in the midst of moving from our house to a new home. Okay, here it is. So half of my stuff is already packed. <laughs> And the other half is still here in a very messy craft room. So I'm happy you can't see it. But I will do a, a little tour maybe when everything is in our new home and everything is ready. Then I'm um, happy to show you my craft room. <laughs> but not now. And this I don't need. So this is one of them. So here I'm going to use... Birdie number two, and of course, I don't need to forget. Oops, I should not forget those little birdies because actually they are pretty cute too. And maybe I'm just going to add an extra one. It doesn't make sense. I mean, you know, they won't go together, they don't look like each other, but you know, these are just decorative little cards, thingies we are making, and it doesn't have to make sense. Well, for me, it doesn't. I'm going to punch out his eye. And this one definitely needs some ink because I just die cut it from um, quite a plain piece of cardstock. Only a little bit, um, some lines, ruled lines. And I think I need to re-ink my distress ink too because Okay, this is better. <coughs> Sorry, I'm also having <laughs> a little bit of a cold, so nothing bad, nothing worse, but um, this one was already glued down, this one doesn't, so let me see. I need to cut off a little piece on the top here. It's a little bit crooked. That one will go here. And I know, you know, it, did, it doesn't make sense adding this one over here, but it is a cute one. <laughs> and then maybe I will add the smaller version with this guy on the top, just for fun. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to glue this one down first. Do I need something extra? That one goes here. Then I have this little bird also going that way. I can use another, another circle maybe. Why not? Why not? What's on there? Chocolates. You see how different it looks when you when you are adding something else, adding something extra. Um, but the problem is it's hard now for me to cut it off because um, this piece is already glued down on the postage stamp. So maybe it's not the most handy thing to do for me now. Maybe I've got something square. No, that doesn't make sense. These are probably all too small, all little cutting elements from the reminiscence books. But that's not what I'm looking for. Um, and I also can't use, or do I? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I think this is the best option. I do like it. Oh, this is a smaller circle, but it's too green, too much green in there. Let me see what else I've got. This one, more numbers. I do like numbers. Should I just do this? Yes. Um, maybe. 
No, it's too busy because the bird on there, you don't see the bird anymore. Okay, no numbers. What I've also got is those little wheels. Let me see. No, too busy. <laughs> too busy. <laughs> I do like this one most. Somehow. I will go for this one. And I am going to try and cut something off by hand. Oh, I can do this. Chocolate. Oh, this way. Why not? Why not? And then this one. Or shall I use this one? Right? No. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just fun playing around with all these elements. Yes, I'm going to cut it off here. So hopefully this will work. I'm trying to make sure it's a little bit straight. Okay. That one is okay. And now I need to cut off a little piece on the top and the bottom part. Just a tiny bit. Hopefully this is okay. Yeah, it's a little bit too small now, but I am fine with that. Okay, that one goes there. Definitely. On this side. And then this bird will go here. And then I have this little guy, or maybe she's a girl, I don't know. I'm going to put this one somewhere in the middle. And they are going to be into in the pocket pages, so. Okay, for this one. And now you see, there's a piece of his wing, <laughs> uh, which falls out when you are die cutting it, and it's this piece. And I am also going to ink that one, because... <laughs> And then put it back in. That will give you a more, um, yeah, a little bit extra dimension. And it's really fun to ink up those tiny elements and put them back in. Just a little glue in there. And I hope you can see the effect it gives you when you do this. I will keep it a little bit closer to the camera. You see this little piece here? It's just uh, something extra. Okay. Uh, oh, this one goes on there. So now I am moving over to uh, card number three already. And that one also should have my prompt number somewhere. Number seven. Still in a good direction. Yes. And they're in the correct order, I must say. Let me change this. So... But don't you think how cute these already look? And it's so much fun to do this. And can you imagine doing something like this with butterflies or flowers, making those little elements? And these I will do later. And so these two, and I need number seven. So number seven, I can put on his back or something. Oh, maybe it should go here. No, it doesn't fit. Because I have to slide it into the pocket pages. And then a little piece pops out, and you will see it on this side. Although I don't think that's really bad. Hmm. Okay, let me think about it for a second. This one goes here, definitely. So, I need to cut off <laughs> a part of his body. Its body, I should say. <laughs> Not sure. If it's a boy or a girl, and this one can go. And I think to make it more cohesive, I am going to use a circle on this card too, because I already have one here, here, and then I think it finishes it when you are using a circle over there too. So, oh, another one with a number. No, that's maybe too confusing for me, thinking it was prompt number three, but it isn't. Let me see if I've got more circles laying around here. 
probably all the same ones. <laughs> and that, let me see. Oh, I do like this one too. Mm, that's too much of a handwriting. This one. Maybe. Or, or, or. This one is nice too, with the letters. Letters, 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 letters. And that's the same one, only the thinner paper. Okay, I'm going to put these back into my box. I chose this one. This one all can go back. Save them for next time. And I think I'm going to use the circle on this side. So you see one, two, three on the left. And if you want, you can turn it around like this because um, if you like it. But uh, because these are all um, landscape, I also choose to do this uh, landscape. And yeah, I'm just going to glue it down. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to glue it down. I only need half of it. So probably something like this. And then cut off the part you don't need. And now you see why it's easier to do this and first and then glue it on the post-it stamp later on. A little bit of ink. I didn't ink the circles now because that's what I already did when I did cut them uh, some time ago. So this one here and then this bird. Oh, how cute. But this one also should be there. Okay, same with this guy. Ink it up. And this little one is going to give the big one a kiss. Smitten, smitten. But still trying to figure out number seven. Hmm. It all comes here. So I think I should be fine when applying it this way uh, because it's going to move into the, the pocket page. And there it should be fine, I hope. <laughs> Just going to give it a try. Okay, that one goes here. Yes, definitely. So I can glue that one down. Nice and straight, or as straight as possible. So this one will go here. And this little birdie thing, let me see. Oh, I can also glue them down this way, so they are not speaking. They are not on speaking terms. <laughs> they are not talking to each other. Oh, I do like it. I do like it. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So, reminding, let me see. This one should be here, so just uh, amongst, no, amongst, <laughs> close to the letter N. That's where I want to glue it down. And this one does have ink, yes. So this one should go somewhere here, nice and straight. And then this little birdie, which is not on speaking terms with the big one. Not today. It's going to be here. And then I'm going to do the same with this little piece which, uh, which falls out, <laughs> Fall, fell out, sorry. I'm going to put it back in, uh, but first I'm going to ink it. And then add some glue in there. Oh, I think I took the wrong one. Or No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I thought I took the wrong one. So here are my little three bird cards for this week's Sidekick Saturday. And I must say, I do like the end result. I didn't expect this, because when I started, I was thinking, oh, Esther, how could you come up with this prompt? And you know what? I now notice that this card is actually also not 
completely wide enough, but I'm happy with this. And I hope you like it too. So I'm going to put them into the pocket page again. <coughs> and back into my journal. So I think this is the top one, yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it the other way around. Then there's a little bit more of a surprise when I turn everything around. So I'm trying to slide them in. And again, this is always giving you a little bit of a hard time. Uh, okay, you see, it's not that bad. It's only popping out a little bit at the top. So no problem. Uh, let me see. No, this is not working, Esther, because it's going to be on the back. I need to put it in on this side. Uh, no, I need to put it in on that side. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Because I have to turn it around when it's in my journal. Here we go, the first one. Then she is going to be in here. And the last one is going to be in the third pocket down here. And now you see the pocket problem. Well, it's not a problem, it's something <laughs> to uh, pay attention to when you want to slide something in with uh, multiple layers. So it's sometimes a little bit hard to get it in. Okay, here they are. This is from last week, and I'm going to show you the results when I turn it around. And I haven't seen it either, so... Okay, here we go. Ta -da -da -da. The birds and the bees. How cool are they together? Well, I hope you liked it. I must say I did have fun making this. And... Uh, I do love the birds altogether. So this was it for this week. Um, oops, <laughs> everything falls down. Um, I hope to see, thank you for watching, of course. Um, and if you don't like, uh, if you don't like, sorry, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, that helps me grow my channel. And um, that way you will also get notifications when uh, new videos will be posted, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon with another Sidekick Saturday. Bye bye!